If you've been playing airsoft for any length of time, you probably noticed that there are different weight BBs for airsoft guns. So in our last video, we tried to test different weights to see if the heavier weight BBs would give you a measurable increase in accuracy from the lighter weight BBs. So we went from 0.2 to 0.25 to 0.3 to 0.43. The theory would be as you got a heavier BB, you would get an increase in accuracy, but it didn't actually work out that way. What we found, in fact, was that the accuracy in some cases actually got worse. So it was a little bit odd because you would kind of assume that as you got a heavier projectile, it would get more accurate. So that left me with a number of theories. One is that as you get a heavier BB, it definitely slows down because the gun is not able to propel it as fast. So this week I wanted to test if we used two different weight BBs, 0.2 and 0.32, and we maintained the same velocity between the two, could we get an increase in accuracy with the heavier weight BBs? So in order to test this theory, we need to have an airsoft gun that is capable of modifying the velocity that the gun is shooting at. And there's a number of ways of doing that. If you have an electric or a spring gun, generally you just change the spring out in order to get a different velocity, either a heavier or a lighter weight spring. Um, for the sake of convenience, I opted to use an HPA airsoft gun, uh, which makes it a lot easier to adjust the velocity because all you do is just change your air pressure on your regulator and you're able to get whatever your desired air pressure is. And it's a little bit easier than the spring guns in that um, you can get very specific results as far as like getting specific velocities versus using springs where it's a much more coarse uh, adjustment. This gives us a more precise adjustment. Um, for the gun that we're using, we're using a Polar Star Mark I. This is the original Fusion engine. Um, we were shooting the BBs through a 410 millimeter tight bore barrel. This is a 6.03. Um, the hop up unit is a Pro Win, and we used a Maple Leaf MR uh, hop up bucking in it. Now, in the last video, we were trying to keep the gun as stable as possible by using sandbags, which seemed to be kind of adequate, but there was still a little bit of movement. So in the interest of eliminating as much of the human factor out of this equation, I decided to go with a gun vise, which completely locks the gun in so that there is absolutely no movement on the part of the gun based on when you're pulling the trigger. So it takes out some of the other variables to see, you know, exactly what are the BBs doing and not something that I'm doing to the gun. As far as the optic I decided to use on this test gun, I went for the AccuShot 3 to 12 by 44 mil dot. So for this particular test, I decided to use the same brand BBs. Um, in our first test, we used a number of different brands and that may have accounted for some of the uh, differences in accuracy. So today, both of the BBs that we're gonna be using are the Tipman Tactical. We're using a 0.2 and a 0.32. And for the sake of video, I decided to go with uh, tracer BB so you could actually see what's going on with it where when we're using just regular plain old white BBs it's hard to get an idea of what the BBs are doing when you're watching the video. So in our initial test we were shooting at a distance of around 100 feet which after I thought about it a little bit I thought that might be a little too ambitious so I decided for this particular test we would dial it back a little bit and bring the target back to 50 feet rather than 100 feet because I think for practical purposes of using an airsoft gun, you're probably more likely to engage targets in the 50 foot range more than in the 100 foot range. I think 100 feet for a lot of airsoft guns is definitely pushing um, the limits of what these things can do accurately. So for our first string of uh, shots, we took two targets, we fired 10 shots each at them and took the average of the shots and we got a five inch group using the 0.2 gram BBs. So when we went up to the 0.32 gram BBs, first thing I noticed is that the velocity rolled off from 380 feet per second down to 320 feet per second. So there was a significant loss in velocity due to the fact that we were using heavier BBs. Um, so what I did was we dialed up the pressure on the regulator and got us back up to 380 feet per second. So both strings of shots from the 0.2s and the 0.32s were shot at the same velocity, which was 380 feet per second. When we shot the second two strings 
at 50 feet with the 0.32 gram BBs, we got an average group size of two and a third inches. So we went from a five inch group down to a two and a third inch group. So that was a pretty significant increase in the accuracy of the gun. So in order to be consistent with the last video we shot, I decided it would be interesting to see what happens when we shoot at a target that is 100 feet away versus just 50. Um, and what we found is when we shot at it with the 0.2 gram BBs, we got an average group size of 14 and a quarter inches, which is a pretty big uh, difference from shooting at it at 50 feet away. So at 50 feet, we got a five inch group. At 100 feet, we got a 14 and a quarter inch group. So that was a pretty big deviation from what kind of accuracy we were getting. I imagine that as the BB gets further away, it slows down significantly. So you're gonna lose some of your accuracy as a result. Um, when we stepped up to the 0.32 gram BBs, our group size went back down to a six and a quarter inch group, which was way better than what we were getting with the 0.2 gram BBs. Um, at 50 feet, we got two and a third inch group, and at 100 feet, we got six and a quarter inch group. So, um, once again, we got a better result using the heavier BB. So. I think in, you know, in, in looking at all this data, I don't think there's any real major surprises. This is pretty much along the lines of what I thought we were going to get. Um, the question is, is as the BB slows down, how much worse is the accuracy going to get out beyond 100 feet? Um, that's something that we may look into in the future. But I think the moral of this story is, is that if you're going to be increasing the weight of the projectile, you need to be able to increase the velocity to compensate for that because you're going to lose a lot of your velocity with the heavier BBs. But if you're able to compensate, you're able to uh, reap the benefits of having a more accurate gun. So um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to stop in the store and uh, bend our ear about it. I'm always glad to talk with people about the, these tests that we're doing. And if there's any of the products that you see here that you want to be able to use in your own uh, airsoft gun, feel free to stop by and we'll be glad to set you up with whatever you need, whether it's tight bore barrels or custom hop-ups or any of that stuff. So in our next test, we're gonna be looking at using different length barrels to see does the length of the barrel have any uh, benefit as to the accuracy of the gun. So stick around for that one. And until then, don't let the bastards get you down.